All right, everybody, we're going to continue on here with NBA 2K14. I really am trying to make a push to get this done so I can be ready for NBA 2K15. But actually, there's a trophy I want to show you guys here that I got while playing offline here. Yay. The fruit? Okay. Uh, where is it? Oh, that, that little trophy reminds me. I didn't finish my GM. I never went back to it. Crap. Well, hopefully I can finish or do my GM in the next one. Hopefully. 15... Uh, where is it? There we go. Get LeBron James to give you his signature skill in my career. Yeah. It just happened out of the blue. We were facing the heat, and then LeBron just ended up showing me one of his, his dunks, and I got the trophy. So... All right, here we go. We're the Rising Stars game. All right, here we go. I was hoping this video would probably be that, which it was, good. Now, if I believe I gotta beat out Jackson Ellis for an endorsement deal, if I remember from my last time playing. So, all right, here we go. Kind of sucks I didn't get to show you guys that cutscene with LeBron, but can you do? I say if I record like oh I think there's what 83 games in a season or so, that'd be a lot of videos and a lot of time. So I just just do every once in a while videos. But in a case for like Madden, when there's like 16 games in a season with an additional four or three if you go to the playoffs. Always a special moment in the pregame ceremonies. The playing of the national anthem as the teams gear up for the national anthem. Hello, oh, yes. welcome everyone to the NBA Rising Stars Challenge. As we'll see the best and the brightest young players in the NBA face off with Clark Kellogg. And Steve Kerr, this is Kevin Hart. Right. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. First for the Stars, Damian Lillard out there with Oladipo. Rookie Stars. Oh yeah, I'm on the Stars, baby. Oh no, Jackson Ellis is on the Stars too. Really? I'm not giving him the freaking ball. I'm getting that endorsement. Roaming the paint. Under himself. And it's Davis in at the power forward position. You know, guys, this Rising Stars Challenge, in my mind, is a really good opportunity for young players to make a statement and separate themselves from their peers a little bit. All right, let's go. Let's get that done. It'll be the Stars. Yeah. Win jump ball. To Kid Gilchrist, pass to money from 11 feet away. Oh man, that sucked. Going back to that recognition aspect, Clark, a very good one. I think the very fact that these players have been invited to play out of a group of what? Ha ha, Jackson Ellis got a foul. Oh man, come on, dude, you're giving up free points. Come on, Jackson. To play in this game, and obviously, the next step beyond this is the all star game. Not many know how the selection process works for the rosters of these teams. It is actually the assistant coaches from around the league who do the voting to decide who represents the rookies and the sophomores. Ellis fires. Good. Oh, no. Well, you start to see Dang it. Jackson Ellis got a point. Ah, two points for Jackson. The Stars on defense. Work kicks to Waiters. No. No question powered it. Where was everybody? Chase. My guy was around the perimeter. Plays 
just like that. Well, he almost brought the whole thing down, Clark, by hanging on that long. <laughs> yeah, he did. Well, it was a great dunk and also a great game we've got here. Now, here's Kid Gilchrist. Lillard, the pass to Oladipo. Shot clock at five. Kicks it out to Lillard. From outside, off the mark. And just no one wants to pass to me for Clark some reason. Talked about with the assistants making the move. You know, it just makes sense, Steve, don't you think, to have the assistant coaches get their say in this roster. They study the game as closely as anyone. Well, Kevin, to use a, kind of a Clark Kellogg type analogy, I mean, if you're going to do the cooking, of course. you want to be able to buy the groceries? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's Lillard following the basket by Anthony Davis. Kid Gilchrist dishes to Oladipo. From outside the arc. And Robertson oh my God, guys. Offensively, one of four to start. They're still trying to find their stroke. And you know, this Rising Stars Challenge, really one of my favorite events, but I think it has potential to be even better if the teams would be committed to playing more like a regular game. I understand the entertainment value. That's important. Jeez. Guys, what are you doing? Because you have such it's like the ball is staying away from me this game. Very well said, Clark. Very well said. Here's Kid Gilchrist after the made shot from Bennett. And Oladipo kicks to Lillard. Barry's the long range. About time. Lillard's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Well, he's a spot-up shooter, one of the best. One of those guys who, if you give him an inch... Ooh, back court. Frequently knock down that shot. And also, he catches a lot of defenders off balance, Steve, with his ability to pull up and drain shots off the bounce. It's a very effective skill to have. And the Rising Stars Challenge, really a great way for the league and theory to introduce fans to some of the great talent Steve coming in. There we go. Yeah, I mean, these guys may not be household names just yet, you know, but this is a part of the process. You know, playing in this game. Uh, is an honor and for these young guys to get the chance to showcase their talents here at all-star weekend and just get a taste of what's out there for them if they can really improve and make it to the big show here's burke after the main shot from Mun oh come on damien well if you like defense don't watch this game <laughs> lillard the pass to ellis outside kid gilchrist just a, a fun event to see so much talent here assembled in one place. Well, it's really one of the reasons this weekend is such a fun time for the fans and yeah, yeah. really all of the NBA players involved as well. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. I briefly spoke with Brian Shaw. He spoke about what a fun time it's been getting to know the young stars who are part of the Rising Stars roster during this All-Star break. Uh, of course I didn't get that freaking rebound. What the heck? You'll be seeing them play in the All-Star game soon enough. I have to agree with them, guys. All right, Doris. Here's Lillard following the basket by Anthony Davis. Kid Gilchrist, the vast of money. Back to Kid Gilchrist. Nice. Yeah. Really got the attention of some folks. Great. I don't know how many points Anthony Davis has. Well, we were at 11. Can't have that much. They get a little more leeway from the officials to the players, but some credit has to go to the players as well. I mean, no need to be overly aggressive in this kind of game format. Here's Oladipo. Another nice shot. Yeah, yeah. There's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Clark. Waiters with the ball. Count the point. freak. And that's now six points for Anthony Davis. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. Well, it's become one of the stories of the first half. Ooh. Points in the paint. The stars shooting their initial free throw. No! What the freak? And the there we go. Leads trail by three. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Here's Burke. 
Oh, wow. And send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. How did he get that to go? Even after the whistle, I like the awareness, the alertness, and the presence of mind to finish the play. Lillard dishes to Ellis. Passes it to Money. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact. All right. <laughs> the stars shooting their third Man, what the freak? Why is my guy so off right now? Oh, my God. Not a typical trip to the line for him there. He had been knocking them down today. That's some more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge in rebounds thus far. And that hard work on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game eventually. Here's Waiters. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Man. Waiters got his second bucket tonight. Defensively, I think they've got to do a better job of bodying them up. Yeah, they're getting outclassed in the paint at, at both ends, really. Kid Gilchrist, the fast of money. And that's there we go. Two and guys, pretty interesting comments he had after their last game. Yeah, I tell you what, this kid has a little spicy salsa. To Don't him. let Jackson Alice. All right, <laughs> I won't pass to him. Never Screw him. When he steps up to the mic. He's gonna speak his piece, that's for sure. Yeah, that's a two-sided coin, Clark. I mean, it can be good or bad. Sometimes it can help draw some attention. Jesus. So you don't want to be a loose cannon. I mean, you can stir up some controversy and make things more difficult for your team. And Lillard kicks to Kid Gilchrist. Here's Money, defended by Roberson. Lillard dishes to Ellis. Lock at six. Oladipo misses. The Elite's leading. Dang. Here's Bennett. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Bennett is a solid six foot eight. He's got the skill to step out behind the three point line, so he's just you know, comfortable whether he's inside the paint or out on the perimeter. Yeah, I like the fact that he can make you feel it. He puts his body on you, and he's got an NBA body. There's no question about that. And NBA athleticism as well, so he can beat you to the ball. And he can beat you from the three-point line, too. So that's a nice combination. There we go. Nice. Here's Burke. Five points in the game. And the elites call time here. Well, he looks like he wants to toy around with... Peter should be Jackson Ellis that wouldn't want to pass to me, either. ...doing the same thing over and over. And you have to be able to adjust on the fly, just like he's doing here. Anthony Davis, you're going to get stuffed one of these times, dude. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Eric Spolster was saying to his team. He told them that their commitment to offensive rebounding needs to be much stronger. He said transition defense shouldn't be the focus. It should be getting to the offensive boards. He also wants to see a lot of bodies down low at the defensive end, saying, quote, if they're going to beat us, Dang. make them make shots from the outside. Guys, they're clearly hoping those changes have an effect even before this game makes it to halftime. Kevin? And thank you, Doris. Lillard outside. They set the pick. Oh, you got stuffed, Jackson. Now, here's Burke. Seven points in the game. To the wing on the left. Then at the best to Burke, and the whistle blows. Come on, Jackson. Boy, you look like a freaking clown out there, dude. Jeez. Here's Zellinger. Defense right on him. Shot clock at six. Here's Lamb. Second chance shot. The putback. And the elites lead by six. Kev, he came out of nowhere to slam that one back in. Well, that's making him pay for letting him get his hands on that rebound. Yeah, is it ever, Kevin? Here's Money. Murdered by Zellinger. Shoots in deep. No! I missed that shot. Serious? Now Lamb. He dishes it to Sullinger. Out to the right wing. Beverly. And Drummond gets My it. My God. 
to Sellinger. Goes back up. And he was fine. Dang it. Two free throws now for him. Nice strong finish. Very nearly a three-point play opportunity. Yeah, when you stay aggressive, good things happen. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the elites. And some great drives to the bucket for them to this point, guys. They've established their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. Carter Williams, he's checked in for Oladipo. Feeds to Carter Williams. Kicks to Noel. And comes nice. two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. All right, good Those are stuff. The kind of nice inside looks they've gotten in the first half here. And I think they should really continue to work it down low, Clark. That's really going to free up the rest of their offense. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Boy, they're really battling, guys. Not sitting back. Dang. Aggressive attacking when they have the chance. I like that. Yeah, and that kind of approach is going to serve them well. It's gotten them to the line more than a few times this quarter. Money passes to Noel off on the layup. Jeez, I cannot get a rebound. Intensity starts to ramp up a little bit. Yeah, I think so, Steve. A little more effort here as the game has progressed. Well, one thing we're noticing here tonight, both teams pretty much taking care of the ball, which is impressive in a game like this. Nice. It really is, Steve. I mean, typically in a game like this, the players and teams can be a little loose, but that hasn't been the case so far. Here's Beverly, headed by Carter Williams. Beverly dishes to Barnes. Here's Beverly. The Trey. Second quarter ends in a tight one. All right. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Now, presented by Sprint. And welcome, everyone, to the All Star Break Edition. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And we're back once again. The spotlight on the talented first and second year players here in the Rising Stars Challenge. Kevin, so far spectacular. Well, I don't think that Jackson Ellis challenge is up anymore. Here's Waiters. There's the block. Get that out of here. Burke kicks to Bennett. They get a hand on it. And here's Oladipo. Here's the pass to Money. To the inside. Dang it. Outside, Kid Gilchrist. Now what's the pass to Money? Back to Ellis. Terrific assist. And nice Good. You better be proud of that one, freaking Jackson. Out of this. That one for the Stars. Burt dishes to Waiters. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. And it's blocked by Oladipo. Oh, jeez. Lillard outside. And Kid Gilchrist kicks to Lillard. Pass to Money. Let's go. Hits the... There we go. Money's got 11 points. These defenders look overmatched right now, especially inside. Yeah, you look at the numbers. 10 of the last 12 points have come from close range, so I agree. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Well, guys, I was able to listen in on what Eric... Nice last huddle he told his guys that offensive rebounding is what they need to most improve on he told them that they should have far more second chance points yeah to this point. he wasn't done there he also told them to put full effort into their rebounding at the defensive end saying quote let's keep them off the glass one shot per possession that crap. That's all we're going to give up those are likely not the last adjustments they make today guys there's still time left in this one back to you kevin and thank you doris Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Dishes to Oladipo. There's a screen. Outside, Kid Gilchrist. He feeds it to Lillard. Six to shoot. No, no I miss. Even with that miss, they're shooting 75% coming out of the break. That's a strong start to the half. 
Waiters passes to Davis. Here's Roberson. But they get it back. Nice shot by Davis. Hey. You got to put bodies on the glass right there. They, they just are not getting it done on the boards. Yeah, they've got to do a much better job of going harder than that to the glass. Passes it to Money. Oh, my God. Can't get a much better look than that, though. Sure can't. Not one you'd expect him to miss there. And Waiters kicks to Roberson. Here's Burke. Good. Dang it. It's a five-point elite lead. Boy, that was impressive. Major height disadvantage, but he still got the shot up over his man. Well, he's got the poise to handle any matchup. My guy is missing like freaking crazy. See that there. Waiters off a pick from Roberson. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. You know, it's quite surprising to see them leading at this point. So it's the Stars now. Lillard outside. Kid Gilchrist, the pass to money. Back to Kid Gilchrist. Ellis dishes to Kid Gilchrist. Four on the shot clock. Lillard attacking to take the lead. Good on the shot. Nice. Lillard's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Stars. Here's Burke. He kicks to Waiters. Oh, nice still. Here's the break. Pushing it up. The oh. And that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. A super defensive play. I mean, if that pass gets through, it's probably two points. And he knew that. He knew if it gets through, it's a score. So that's why he sold out for it and got a hand on it. And there's the pass to Money. Oladipo with the ball. Outside, Kid Gilchrist. Just five on the clock. Lillard attacking. Puts up the baby hook. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Stars. Their high energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. Aw, oh, man. Come on, Damien. Shots for them tonight. They've clearly been the better team on the glass, but it hasn't necessarily translated to the scoreboard uh. yet. But you feel like it's going to, to reward this team at some point. They've got to continue to maintain the energy. The feed to Kid Gilchrist. Here's money. He's guarded by Rose. Oh, come on, man. The guy is missing everything. And that's a foul. My dude is nervous <laughs> for this game. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. Here's Davis. To the left wing. Waiters. That's in there. Ah. And it's nine points for Dion Waiters. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Now, here's Oladipo. Kicks it out to Lillard. Launches a three, and he gets the bucket. There we go. Lillard's got six points in the quarter. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. You know, quite honestly, Kevin and Steve, I mean, this game, as close as it's been, you really hate to see it come to an end. I agree. Well, then let's root for overtime. <laughs> Why not? Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hi guys, over that break I was able to catch the message Brian Shaw was giving to his team. Hey. Their effort on the offensive glass has been quote as lazy. He wants his guys dedicating themselves to fighting hard for second chance opportunities. He was no less emphatic with the second point he made, which was to close out on those perimeter shooters and prevent them from doing too much damage from long range. Guys, we'll see how Coach's direction pays off as this one winds down. Kevin? Thanks a lot, Doris. Just two to shoot. Here's money. The elite. Oh, my God. Are you freaking kidding me? Miss everything, why don't you? Rebound the stars. Kid Gilchrist has got his third rebound tonight. 
And there's Lillard. That's good on the assist from Kid Gilchrist. I'd say that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, it sure did. A good job getting it started and a better job finishing it off. Here's Davis. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. The Stars with the lead. Oladipo, the pass to Money. Up and in. Finally. I tell you what, you don't want to allow too many of those kinds of baskets with the game on the line. Now, this is when defenses have to protect the basket with everything they've got. Force the offense to shoot from the perimeter. Here's Burke. Count the best. Oh, man. It's on Damian Lillard. And now both of these clubs are really in a groove here. Already a high-scoring game, but it has become an offensive showcase down the stretch. And what a tremendous game for Burke. He has 12 points and a decent little assist total for him, too. Yeah, he's played really well, moving the ball around, and uh, you'd like to see the rest of the team kind of get into that same passing groove that he's in. And he gets it to go. There we go. And that's 17 points for Money. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but their cutting. They're moving together as a unit. Davis with it. Lillard picks him up. And Waiters picks to Burke. He dishes it to Waiters. Bennett setting the pick for Waiters. Pass to Burke. Five to shoot. Feeds it to Waiters. From deep. The rebound by Oladipo. And the Stars leading by three. Pass to Money. Goes up the baseline. That's good. There we go. Money's got ten points here in the second half. Another good pass, and their offensive execution has been impressive, to say the least. The last four field goals have been assisting. Yeah, passing has kept the defense off balance, but to get assist, you've got to make the shots. And it's Kid Gilchrist penetrating. Nice. On the double clutch lane. What an amazing trick shot to confound the defender. Oh man, that's awesome. He's taking him to school right there. Burke. They get it back. Back to Davis. The second chance effort. Sinks it. Oh, come on. And that cuts the lead to just five. You know, if you were only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would be ahead. Here's money. Blocked. And stolen by ah. It's tipped. Kid Gilchrist with the steal. And That's it. Ah. Lillard outside. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Lillard has been playing really well. He has 11 points, and he's hit the mark twice from three-point range as well. Well, it's no secret. And the more points he can come up with from out there, the better off he'll be offensively with their spacing. I'm sure he would have liked to have had all of those, but he still padded their lead a little bit at least. Here's Kid Gilchrist. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. And they go to the intentional foul. Yeah. Come on, Damien. Pack some more points on that. <laughs> Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. <laughs> and the <second laughs> free throw. No good. A tough break there. The elites with the ball. Over to the left wing. It's good. Oh my god. Two points. Oh, what a clutch shot. That could be the difference maker. Big, big moment in this game. And an intentional foul. Come on, Kid Gil Chris. That's right. No other option but to foul and hope for There we go. Make this, Kid Gil Chris. Damien couldn't make both of his. There you go. It's a four point ball game. Those are big free throws, guys, because now it becomes a two possession game. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now they decide to foul intentional. Don't foul Damien. He makes only 50% of his free throws. 
So the first one drops in that puts Now he's going to miss this one. So he gets Oh, I'm glad I am wrong in that. <laughs> free throws there to ensure that they're going to go home with the W. Burke kicks to Waiters. Puts up a three. Hands the three. Oh, wow. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Well, as long as Amy can make one, this game's over. And it's over. That gives them a four-point cushion. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a five-point game. So the Stars end up winning. It's always fun to see these younger guys competing on a national stage. Really an entertaining game, guys. An exciting game. One side has to win. Unfortunately, one has to come up short. So tonight, they will set with a better team. The only thing All right. Well, I've got all my dynamic goals in as player of the game. That's good. Should be able to get my endorsement. Face of the brand. Great game tonight. How does it feel to come out here as a young player on such a big stage and really showcase your skills? It felt good. You never know how things will go when you're playing with a bunch of new teammates, but I had a lot of fun out there with these guys. Too many people look at these games as boring exhibitions where nothing's at stake, but I thought it was important to play at a high level and show people what I'm capable of doing on the court. Hopefully everyone was able to see that. Yeah, it was important for me to get that freaking endorsement. Thanks for coming by. I just wanted to let you know that we're really happy with the way you've been playing lately. Expect to see some more minutes from here on out. My all star. This is your captain speaking. We've begun our descent into the Sacramento metro area. Trophies. Two here. What were they called? They were called. Uh, be named an NBA All Star in my career. Beat out Jackson Ellis for an endorsement deal in my career. Yep. Yeah. Heck yeah, buddy. Okay, guys. I wanted to get that game out of the way, so now I can head straight, hopefully for the playoffs, because I'm on a good team in the Warriors. So, all right, guys. See you guys.